this is going to be Blind Faith with Can't Find My Way Home. Oh my gosh, I love this song. Absolutely love this song. Steve Winwood's voice in this is just so cool, and it just goes places you never think it would. Fantastic kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you a really cool bass line to play over it, and um, you're going to learn it quick. It's really super easy, but it's really fun to play. If you can get together with an acoustic guitar player, even better. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Okay, so what are those bass videos all about down when you click on the YouTube text box right there? Well, bass playing is, is kind of a time of discovery, you know? It's like an adventure. You're learning new stuff all the time. You're increasing your chops. You're getting better, right? So we need to practice bass. And when we're practicing, you know, and learning all these different techniques, like through these videos, why not make it fun, right? I mean, that's great. If you can actually get better on the bass, you know, and learn all these different songs or techniques or whatever, and, you know, and have fun doing it instead of just doing it through, you know, repetitious you know, study, um, then that's, that's a fantastic thing and that's fun. You're doing it through something that you love. You're doing it through music. And, and that makes it just so much easier to do and so much better. So don't forget, click on the uh, clicker box right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, I think it's really going to help you out. Okay, so the first part. You're just going down chromatically on the neck here. You're going to go from the fifth fret to the fourth to the third to the second. Right, and you're pretty high on the G string, just like that, very, very simple. Got a little chorus on my bass, so that's why it has that swirly kind of effect right there. <clears throat> just like that, and then next part. Right there, all I'm doing is, you can, you can just play something like that if you want, third fret of the D, and then open, open G. And then seventh fret of the G maybe, but I like that that sort of stronger, richer sound right there in that part of the song, uh, just playing the octave. So you're playing on the first fret of the E and the third fret of the D. That's an octave shape right there. Remember if you hit a note and you go two strings up and two frets over, that's an octave no matter where you want to put it. So you're going to hit first fret of the E, third fret of the D. Then you're going to move that up. Same shape on your hand, just move it up to the third fret of the E and fifth fret of the D. It's very simple. Then you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to be on the uh, fifth fret and the seventh fret. So fifth fret of the A string and seventh fret of the G string this time. So you got... You can throw in this uh, little seventh fret. This is the fifth right here. Uh, it's actually the seventh fret of the uh, D string. So you got. Now I keep my keep the octave flowing, right? With my pointer and pinky, and then with your third finger, you're gonna pluck it like that. See that? You can do it like that if you want to get a hammer on. If you bar this whole fifth fret. Right, the A, D, and the G. You got this over here. Right, but you don't want to go too crazy because the, you know, you hear the acoustic guitar is doing all kinds of stuff. So you kind of just want to be in the background with some power here. So if I play the whole thing slow, do it with one finger, sing the But the next time, when you go into it, set it up a little bit, right? So you're going to be on the second fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret of the G. You can even... Just like that. And when he starts singing, um, while I'm nearing the end, or I'm, uh, while I'm near the end, uh, you're going to be on the fourth fret, actually, of the G string, right? So, if you want to, you can hit octaves there, too. Just like that. So remember, 4th fret, and you're going to hit the octave, you'd be on the 2nd fret of the A. And then the, uh, you're on the 2nd fret right here of the G, which would be the open A, would be the octave. Just like that. So you got... Now 
would be the fifth fret and the fifth fret of the A and seventh fret of the G. So I played that all together. I'll just play the last part of this one. Just like that. And when he sings the chorus, um, well, I'm wasted and I can't find my way home. Real simple. You're on the second fret of the D string. Hit it again. One more time. Then you're going to climb to the uh, fourth fret and then the fifth fret of the D string. is all in the D string. Then you go back down. Fourth fret. Second fret, open. Just like that. All right, blind faith can't find my way home. We have all been there before. I know I've been there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I am Finn Barr. Don't forget to click on the YouTube text box right down there if you want to get those sweet lessons, if you haven't already. Also, uh, you can subscribe to my channel, Finbar Bass, and that way every time I put a new one out, you'll get it. Um, it's a great way to stay excited about playing bass because there are a lot. There's like 240 videos or something like that on there right now, tutorials. So you'll never get bored playing bass, and you'll always know when they're going to come out. Lots of different stuff on there. Um, if you just joined me, for, and this is your first uh, Finbar video, uh, this is a song, but then there's tons and tons and tons of songs from yesteryear and new stuff but there's also a lot of uh themes and computer game themes and tv themes and you know animes and all kinds of different stuff on there so you won't get bored believe me transcribe music from other instruments all kinds of stuff whatever you're looking for it's there anyway um thank you so much for listening and have fun with that one yo blind faith